What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Lazyboy and I forgot to shave today, so unfortunately you guys are gonna have to deal with that, so just bear with me for one video. But today I'm back with another Meet and Mayhem haul video. Um, this one was really, really cool. It was a really good haul. Um, I don't really know what to say. It was just a great haul, so I guess let's just get on into it. Um, the first figure I saw that they had at Walmart today when I went there to do something, I found Scumbug. This was the first figure I saw that they had and I just grabbed her instantly right off the shelf. I compared her with another scumbug that they had to make sure I got the one with the best paint apps. And this is it. This thing is sick. I love it. It's very ugly and weird and awesome. And I can't wait to check this figure out and review it for you guys on YouTube. I still need to finish wave one though. So that won't be coming for a while. But I'm still going to I'm gonna record the intros for all these videos and then open them. Because that's how I do them. And then you'll, I'll record the rest whenever I can. But um, this is a really cool figure. I like that it comes with a little splinter picture and vomit. And her wings are detachable. I don't see them on here. I, oh, that's because they're clear plastic, so they're hard to see. But they're in there. You can see it right here. Um, that's really cool. This is a really cool find that I got. Um, and then the second figure I saw was Wingnut. I love this girl. She was really, really fun in the movie. She didn't have too many lines, but... None of the other mutants, besides maybe Mondo, Gecko, and Superfly, had that many lines. And um, she was just really fun. I really liked her. I like how during the entire chase scene, she was the only one actually being nice to the turtles. That's really nice. I I appreciate that little character detail for Wingnut. That's I, I just love Wingnut, so I'm, I'm glad that we got her as a figure. Um, also, no one's really... Sh I've seen people have shown off these figures online for these past couple days. No one, for some reason, wants to show the, the back of the packaging. Like, look at that. They included... You know, Genghis, all, all Wave 2 right here. And then Wave 1, it's all smushed. No Baby Turtles on there. They really should put that the Baby Turtles are Target exclusive on there. Um, Wingnut, the Robo Bat, really cool. Her wings are also detachable. Almost every Team and T figure with wings, they almost all of them are detachable. That's, that's, that's great. Um, see, I don't really know what else to say for this video, because it's not that crazy of a story. I just went to Walmart one day, and they had Wave 2. Wave 2 is now hitting stores, guys. Um, I found out about this, like, earlier in the week, which is what kind of convinced me to go to Walmart today. And um, for the last figure that I found, yes, this is the last. I'll come. I'll get back to that in a second. Um, it's Genghis Frog. <sighs> now, if I said I don't like this, not. Nah, <laughs> um, I like Genghis. He, he's a cool character design. He should be a lot smaller. He, he should be significantly smaller. He's not this big. He's really fat. I, I, I've noticed Playmates has a habit of that. Whenever there's a character that's really small and short, they just make him short and fat. Like, too big. Um, he... Well, he had, like, what? He had, like, three lines in the movie. It's... I'm not even kidding. <laughs> For them to cast Hannibal Buress as Genghis Frog... And then give him three lines, that's criminal, but that's also hilarious. Um, he has a cool little gimmick here, where you can like, the, you know, the tongue, tongue girls back, that's, that, that's cool. I like that they made a hole in the packaging just for this gimmick. They do that with every Team of T figure that has the tongue gimmick. And he has a little try me feature, which is different. What is it? Oh, it says turn dial, I thought it was like a bilingual thing. Okay, let me get the car back. This, I, like, I like this version, where I wish they kind of did it like this. Because like, then you have Mondo. And Splinter and Turtles here, which is like, this is mostly the good guys. Side. Mondo was mostly on their side in the movie for the majority of it. These guys, it took a little bit more convincing to be on their side. And then, <laughs> that reminds me of in the movie when, when the Turtles and Splinter show up to Superfly's little thing, ship in Staten Island. Everyone's surrounding the Turtles, and then Mondo's the only one like, hey, what's up, bros? <laughs> That's good, I love that. Hey, what's up, bros? Um, yeah, it's really weird. Um, Genghis Frog has this little, really cool, like, little scribble effect on his eyes. I don't know if you can see that. That's really cool. Um, the Croak and Bloke, it says on his packaging. These are, these are really cool figures. I like these. Um, I did, unfortunately, find no Mondo Gecko. They had two of each figure. They had two Wingnut, two Scumbug, and two Genghis. I picked all the ones with the better paint applications. Um, uh, set that down. And that was the only figure I'm missing is Mondo Gecko. I went to another Walmart, like, really far from where I am now to look for Mondo and I just could not find him. They had Superfly in stock though. The Walmart near me that had these figures, 
they almost never have anything else in stock. It's always just the four turtles and like the giant figures and like some gimmick stuff. That's it. But here they have Wave 2, which I was really surprised by. And then here they have the last thing that I'm going to show off. And this is the big boy. The big old mega sized mega mutant. They had mega mutant there. It was sick. They had three of these big bastards there. That was insane. I mean, like. Look, look at this guy. He's got a rad forehead, and he's looking to the the um, the to his left. I guess it's just funny. I love this figure. He's also really big. Like I can't fit him into the camera all that well. But, okay, I guess if I might back up. Yeah, look at this guy. He's huge, and he's facing mostly this direction. So I'm gonna have to display him like this when I put him on my shelf over there. But damn, this guy is big, and a lot of him is unpainted. So for that, I'm going to make an old series from the channel, very, very old if you were there since the beginning, uh, which is Amateur Customs. I saw someone on YouTube um, do a really cool custom of this guy. I'll show that on screen here. Um, and I'm going to try and replicate that-ish, kind of. But this time I'm going to show the process of me doing it so you guys can try making it your own. Because whenever I do these Amateur Customs, I show how I do it so you guys can see what I did and probably get your own. So I'm definitely going to be customizing this guy. I can't wait to get that video out whenever I get that out. Definitely not for another, honestly, month. That's that's if that's if I would, were to upload a Meet and Mayhem video every single Wednesday, and I'm not going to do that. Um, this is probably the last Meet and Mayhem you're gonna see this week, unless I change my mind and decide to be generous. Because <sighs> even then, I still have to upload Bebop and Rocksteady, and then Superfly, and then the rest of Wave Two before I get to this guy, and then I finally have to get to the van. Which, ooh, I don't feel like reviewing that, but I'm going to. Um, oh, this is also a Walmart exclusive, by the way. I forgot to mention that. So you can only find them at Walmart. Um, I guess it's three per case, or just one per case, and they have three cases. But make sure to check your Walmarts, because this guy is so cool. He's got his rad forehead. His, I think, what is that? Oh, they're monkeys! Monkeys! It's a monkey arm with narwhal fingers. That's so sad. And of course you got the horse legs from the movie. I'm gonna be painting those two to get more detail out of them. The little sea turtles on them, barnacles. I'm gonna paint everything. Um, they did leave a lot unpainted here, but I'll get into that when I review this figure. Um, I went to uh, when I when I went to the other Walmart to look for Mondo Gecko. I didn't find anything there. I saw Rise of the Beast on DVD. And that's pretty much it. I did get new paintbrushes though for that amateur custom video, so we're gonna be doing that a lot better. This was like five dollars, I think, at Walmart, and I got a few new paints. None of them, almost none of them, have to do with this. I got like yellow, brown, and white. I don't know what I could add to this that's white. Maybe I I got nothing. Um. Anywho, this is a really cool figure. I can't wait to open it. Um, I'm filming all the intros for these, this video right after, by the way. So, like, I'm gonna have these open because I lack, I, I have severe lack of impulse control. Actually, that's not true. I'm very good with impulse control. I just want to have these because I'm, there's no way I'm not opening this really cool toy for another month. Actually, not, no. Honestly, like, two months, I want to say. This is gonna be part of my Christmas video. I don't know. Um, I have a, I have a cr Christmas special coming up. Along with Halloween special. My Halloween special. Ooh, what day are we at? Oh, it's the 14th. I miss my Chucky upload. I need to get back to that. Uh, I have Mega Mutant on the schedule. I was able to get him. But. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I need to get back to schedule. I'm super lazy. But um, this video is dragging out too long. Um, but without further ado, I'm Mr. Lazy Boy. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. You guys are going to be getting all these figure reviews and more once I find Mondo Gecko soon. I'm going to try to get these out sooner than later. It's just going to take a little while, so bear with me while I finish off wave one and then get on to wave two. Because this could be super cool when you open these all up. And I guess I'll just see you next time. Peace. But has to be pizza.